Welcome to the first in, I hope, of many videos to share with you. Um, I like to find different things, um, thrift stores, sales, whatever. I like to find things and repurpose them. Now these were some placemats that I purchased in Dollar General. They were $2 a piece. I thought, would this make a really nice farmhouse sign? So, I had my husband make me a frame to fit the placemat. Just a simple wood frame. If you don't have a wood frame, you could definitely use a picture frame, okay? But what I'm gonna show you, this was kind of see-through. So I felt that a lining would be necessary. So I had a scrap piece of duck cloth here. Duck cloth is, is, a, is a fabric that they use for many things, um, flags, whatever, all right? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cover this with the duck cloth because I don't want you to see directly through the wood. And I went with something that was neutral. And of course, ahead of time, I tried to um, set up my electric stapler and I don't seem to have any staples to fit it. So, so we're just gonna have to struggle with the stupid hand one. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just stapling the duck cloth to the frame. And again, if I had my stapler gun, I'd be through this in no time. But a lot of you probably don't have a staple gun, so all I'm doing is stretching this fabric over the frame and stapling it in place. If it stay up, I could get a better grip of it. There we go. And then we're gonna take this and kinda do like you would a uh, uh, package when you're taping up a, a birthday package as far as rounding off the ends. Well, I'm just going to lay it flat. This part's going to be against the wall anyhow. Please, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button if you like these videos. I'm trying to go with instructional videos. I have a lot of um, a lot of things lined up. Over the years, I've made many things out of other items, repurposed them. And these will be, this will be my series of Second Hand Saturday, or Second Chance Saturday, excuse me. Again, if you didn't have a stapler and you felt comfortable hot gluing, you could probably hot glue. I'm hoping by the next time, I have my staple gun working. Drug the air compressor all the way out of the garage for nothing. Okay, so we got that kind of covered, all right? And the whole purpose was so when we put this on, you don't see through to the wood, the wood frame. Okay, now this one just reached the top, 
So what I had to do was I sewed a piece of burlap ribbon across because I wanted to be able to get this back off the edge so it wasn't visible. And see if I wouldn't have put that on there, you would have, it would have been hard to attach the frayed edges. So that was my reason behind Oh, well, I guess it would help if I took the darn tag off of it, huh? These would make a nice gift or a nice addition to your Etsy shop. Just trying to eyeball it here and get it in place. And if I put that there, I can come down a little further there. So I... This isn't my first rodeo, guys. I just can't seem to get it together. <laughs> gonna be a bundle of burrs. All right, I'm just gonna put two in here so I can go back and make sure I have it adjusted properly. And like I said, if you don't have a handy husband, just go find a, a picture frame at Walmart that fits. Okay, this is definitely just going to come to the edge of the wood frame. The words. That Amazon electric gum is gun staple gun is looking pretty good about right now. There we go, it's coming. And if you didn't want this to show, you could actually put a piece of cardboard back here and then loop this over top of the cardboard. And I can, when I'm done, I still can go back and, and uh, take care of the back. Clean it up anyhow. Because if, if you give it as a gift, you wouldn't want it to show anyhow. So it's always nice to clean it up. Here's how it's looking so far. And it will stretch out a little more. And again, you're just going to take your ends and work it like you would a gift package that you're wrapping.
Now I didn't stretch it to this edge. I should have shifted a little, a little more, but that's okay because my plan is to put a bow on one side. So this side is not centered. I mean, the, the middle part is not centered. So what I can do is I can make sure that my bow goes over here, okay? And I went with a farmhouse bow. I didn't have any blue to match it. And sometimes it helps, and I know this because I've worked with my staple gun a lot, use your staple gun to push it. And by push it, I mean work, work it up this way. I used to do um, upholstery, motorcycle seats. And a lot of times you're pulling and you kind of have to take your, and let me explain it better. You have to take your staple gun and push it in the direction you want you're trying to pull your fabric. Now what I should have done was measured it out and made my markings, but I was so frustrated with the staple gun, no staples for the electric staple gun, and I didn't finish doing that part. Okay. All right, so we've got our sign. It's now on the frame. So now what you can do, and I know I have some somewhere. I have some heavy duty rope. Um, we'll just go ahead and use this. This has wire in it and this is a pretty strong. You could take this and make it really, really long and put your bow at the top. But since I didn't center this the way I should have, I'm going to stick my bow over here. Because see, it's too far to this side. So, tighten this a little. And then I'll make a little hanger out of this. What I'll do is staple it over here. And then just about that size, or that length, I mean. But see how you can just take a simple placemat make it into a farmhouse sign. And I hope to be doing this, well, downloading these files every Saturday. staple part of the uh, bow tail down to give it some more stability onto the frame. Now I didn't have any blue that would have matched this so I thought I'd just go with nat nat oh, 
natural colors, neutral colors. So you figure the bow probably cost me about a dollar to make. The wood frame probably cost me a dollar or so. I mean, it was a lot of scrap wood that my husband had. There you go. And then I would take poster board or whatever and cover the back. And with that, I will probably hot glue it down to cover up. But it says, family and friends, the farmhouse gather here. And this was just a simple $2 placemat. There you go. Simple farmhouse sign for probably less than $4. And that would make a nice gift for someone. And if I would have had some blue um, ribbon, it probably would have looked even better. But it is what it is. Okay, this was the first edition of Second Chance Saturday. Look for me next Saturday. I've got a few ideas. I'm just not sure which I want which one I want to do first. So look forward to seeing you then. Thanks and have a good day.